So yesterday we talked about the Karen that weaponized her simp. She sent the simp into a blood fury and released him onto the Burger King, which resulted in one man being laid down to rest. A family that lost a son, a father that potentially had to bury his son. Something that you should never have to see, right? This is where the story takes a little bit of a left turn. Did some research. The woman, she ended up, you know, getting arrested as well. They came back, they got her. They got the guy the first day. Kelvis, he's going away for life. They came back and they got Ash. Ashley, all right? The thing that kind of just, it makes me scratch my head, it just makes me look at a lot of people in the room, is Ashley had a daughter. Now the daughter was present during the initial argument that she had when the mother was being very, very berate over the food. Now, before we go down and we start taking a look at this, and I play some of the news footage I, I found, I want you guys to really think, how how much money did this poor young man get laid down over? Maybe 15, maybe 150, $33.11. She gave him a 40, the order was taking too long. She started freaking out. He gave her the 40 back and told her to leave. Now, when they interviewed Ashley's daughter, let's just name her Matilda for video purposes. They don't have her name listed, but let's just call her Matilda. They said, young Matilda, why would your mother do this? Now, <laughs> It's Ashley, according to Matilda, felt that they were being disrespected when the employee shut the glass window. You know how when they give you your food, they have the window closed and they may be like talking to some people in the back. They thought they were talking about them and assumed it was disrespectful. So that's what caused this. So she gives the 30, 40, hey, the order taking too long, starts to yell. They got the window closed, probably saying, yo, this lady tripping. She said, what you say? I got a man and my man will be coming back. I'm telling you, I, I oh boy, I, I really can't stand women like this that, hey, I got a nigga and he, I can put him in kill mode anytime I want. I can't stand these ladies out here that do this. It really reminds me of a couple years back. <laughs> this actually happened in my area as well. She went into a Sprint store in the mall, started cursing out a lot of Hispanic guys. Come to find out her husband was Hispanic. And then this is the extra part. This is where it went left. The husband was sending death threats on Facebook. Like, yo, you better take down that video of my wife, you know, being in that Sprint store saying racist stuff. You better take that down like he gonna do something about it at that point everybody didn't seen it they had pulled every photo off her facebook and everything but yeah it, it really strikes me as that when she's freaking out and all this and i'm thinking you're doing this in front of a in front of your daughter that's the thing that is really really alarming that's the first part the second part is during all of this right i'm looking at this article and i get to the bottom and they say ashley mason's lawyer wants to make sure to know that this guy isn't her husband but a longtime boyfriend. Lady, you have an accessory to a first degree murder charge. <laughs> what do you, it don't matter if he's your cousin, your nephew, your husband, your boyfriend, you looking at life. That's what you're looking at. And then the part that's really sad is like on one side, we have a family again that lost a son. But then on the other side, you have a teenage daughter whose mother isn't going to be there if she ever decides to go to prom, whose mother's not going to be there if she wants to get married, when she has children. She ain't even going to be able to hold her grandchildren if this lady gets sitting down for life because of Burger King. Y'all remember in Final Fantasy XIV where uh, the, <laughs> the Emperor of the Garland Empire wanted to release Black Rose on everybody? And then some people was like, yo, this nigga tripping. But they, they didn't want to say it to him because he was really about that smoke like that so they was letting him release black rose it's like when she came back to the store and she released black rose into the parking lot that resulted in the man's death they say she was weaponizing black rose they said she he didn't reach in the in the car to in the glove box to get the gun himself she was on some bonnie and clyde shit she was like baby here you go take the gun lay him down and then one eyewitness even says that she was aiming the gun when they were brawling herself she was aiming it in the direction Yo, this lady about to get sat now for life. I st Yo, I've been thinking about this for over 24 hours, bro, over Burger King. I had the Kingfish yesterday, y'all. It was mad tartar sauce on that bad boy. It was good. It had pickles on it too. Only thing that bad boy is missing, a little honey mustard, you know, ah ha ha. It was good. It was good. It was, it was good as hell. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm sitting there thinking about it. She ain't never gonna get to taste a kingfish sandwich ever. Uh, Johnny, I, I, I need you to play the clip. I'm firing it up, Big Rob. 
They say Mason called Rodriguez Tormes to the restaurant on Colonial Drive Saturday, then handed him the gun he's accused of using to shoot 22 year old Desmond Joshua. Deputies say Mason was upset because her order was taking too long in the drive through line. You were arrested pursuant to a probable cause warrant for principal in the first degree to first degree murder and aggravated assault with a firearm. Now, yes, you see that. We're going to pause the clip right here. You see this? This woman is crying. She up there shaking, looking like she's shitting and pissing on herself. She upset. What you upset for? What? I'm, I'm not going to lie. When I first watched this clip, I laughed, bro. I laughed hard as hell. You crying now? You crying. <laughs> Where was all that bravado at? You you was a big stone cold killer. You was the killer. You going to go release yourself. Yes them coming like I, I, I can't 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 can, can we keep it a stack man can we keep it a stack because i see this in my area a lot it's these <laughs> oh it's these these white women flexing they minority cannons bro they got the little havana pistol they got the nigga ak-47 it's not an ak-47 it's an nak-47 i actually had somebody do this shit to me on twitter last year i'm in the comment section somebody's tweet give my opinion Six months later, this this woman want she want to come and come come at me, and I'm like, yo, go sit your little ass down somewhere. That's why I say to her. About 30 minutes later, this nigga pull up to the chat. He like, nigga, I'ma kill you. I'm really about that life, nigga. I, <laughs> I'm really about that life. I don't play when them drugs come. Like, I I'll kill you over this. I'm like, motherfucker, you in Chicago? Worry about dodging bullets, bro. You need to worry about what <laughs> what block you want, and hopefully not getting gunned down or getting killed because somebody else said something on social media. Don't worry about me, Munchkin. This is what's hilarious, bro. I'm, I can't wait to put this video out so I can read what y'all got to say. They got this lady up. Up here she look hard body she really looked like she bought that life in the mug shot but then when you see the video where she's standing up in the courtroom it looked like she's shaking she been up in that back room with them big old dykes and now she's scared she don't want oh, 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 I, I don't want to eat no box i don't want to eat no box i like dick i don't want to eat no box well you gonna be eating box bitch <laughs> in the famous words of the quarter and this doesn't fit but you gonna be eating some cone <laughs> Big old bull dykes in the back. You got you had to worry about fighting them bull dykes off your ass. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, it just it just make me mad her sitting up here in the mugshot. I think I wouldn't feel as bad, right? If in the mugshot she looked, you know, she looked like she was she was sorry for what she did, but she ain't she don't even look sorry in the mugshot. Mugshot, she like, yeah, you know, I handed the gun to him. I did that. That's what a real bitch supposed to do. And she up here and crying. Look at her crying. Look at this. It don't make no damn sense. Look at her. Oh, I, 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 I don't want to go. I don't want to go to jail for life. I don't. I, 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 I can't do no life. I can't do no life up there shaking and shit. <laughs> I don't know about you niggas. I laugh when niggas go to jail. Motherfuckers like, yeah, I hate when niggas be saying that. I went and went to jail on my worst enemy. Well, I do. <laughs> All right. I laugh when them niggas, when they do shit and they put themselves in that box. Fuck out of here. Anyways, I'm sorry. <laughs> story just it just it just angers me that's all it just makes me a little angry yeah my fault about not you know standing in front of the camera i just can't stand the way i look anymore and every time i see myself in footage i just get angry so i won't stand in front of the camera <laughs> nah for real but i did shoot some footage and i don't like the way it came out i'm trying to find like i kind of feel like standing up while talking but i can't find the right setup man so eh. I'm gonna keep playing with it and my camera died today anyway so yeah we are back and you guys are looking at streets of rage 4 so we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up here hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you leave a like give me your thoughts down in the description below um i look forward to reading what you guys say make sure you follow me on twitter if you're not subscribed please subscribe turn those post notifications on because i don't know when these videos get sent out to you guys sub box sometimes you tell me yeah rob i saw it and then other times it's like yeah i saw it but i didn't click it I you oh oh so you ain't gonna do the video you ain't gonna do the up, update video on what sky williams said all right don't worry i got something hot for your ass i ain't clicking nothing okay well that's how you feel that's how you feel i ain't making no update on that bitch ass nigga so with that being said i'll catch you guys in the next one Everybody have a great day, and I'll talk to y'all soon.